Welcome to Countryside Tenderfoot. Today we're going to light a fire in our new Hearthstone Shelbourne wood stove. Of course, before you start, you want to make sure that you have the air intake all the way open and the catalytic converter lever pulled towards you or towards the front of the wood stove. This is our firewood rack that I've created with black pipe. And then this is what we use to build our fire. I use extra dry wood chips that have been harvested from our land. And then I like to use the extra long wooden matches. And then we also harvest from our land, we call magic bark. So this is bark from pine trees that have fallen down that are infused with resin. And you can see it's got quite a bit of resin in this piece. And we'll use that as our fire starter. And then behind that, you can see all the pieces of wood that I'll use to start the fire with. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I put two large logs in on the bottom. So kind of start with big, and then I put a couple of flat pieces down with some of the wood chips on top of that. And then uh, after that, I'll go ahead and put that pine magic bark on. And in this case, I'm going to light it because it's not going to be easy for me. I have the shorter matches. Uh, with the long matches, I usually wait until I've got the fire all constructed or the wood pile all constructed. And then I just close the door but not latch it so it's got a little bit of opening to let some air come in. And as you can see, that um, magic bark works really well in getting the fire to start. I use the wood chips underneath of that to kind of capture any of the melted resin so it continues to have a good um, fire, starter, fire starter burn. And that's our little Sammy cat. Um, he is hanging out for the video. This is Hattie and Higgins. Hattie's on the left and Higgins is on the right. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, be adventurous, and remember that we all start somewhere. Catch you on the next one.